Hi, I'm Bipin. I'm a designer with more than 7 years of experience. Today I'm gonna share 10 tips and tricks in After Effects that will help you immensely and improve your productivity. Let's get started. Here we have the default workspace of After Effects. Let's import let's import a file let's import this file so here is the first trick if you if I go for the default option and click import I have this file but if I double click this file nothing happens nothing happens in the sense I don't have access to individual layers so I can't animate I can't do anything to the individual layers it's like an image it's like a jpeg or png png file where everything is one single thing so the trick is let me delete by pressing delete import the file and sorry go to import as drop down option and select the second option composition retain layer sizes import so now you now you have noticed that we have the file as well as a folder and if i double click this file see i have all the layers now good to go now i select every every single layer available in that illustrator file by pressing Ctrl A and by pressing Ctrl C I'm copying the file I'm pasting it using Ctrl V now I want to deselect the file see I'm clicking clicking nothing happens but if I go to the composition preview panel and click here it's gone but there should be some other trick right that is the trick I'm going to say trick number two by pressing F2 see this key it may sound very simple to you but if you are if you are going on working and having lots of layers and see if if you have to deselect then if you know the F2 F2 simple trick F2 shortcut then it's easy but otherwise you will have to go to the preview panel and then click here and it's not that easy right so the shortcut is F2 that's that's the trick see right now we have the design element here and I want to go into the details I can zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel like this but the shortcut is by pressing the period key to zoom in and the comma key to zoom out the period key is lying next to the shift key okay that's another trick see right now I have zoomed in and see suppose I have to fit the composition into the panel the shortcut is shift and forward slash key can you see that it's, a sim it's as simple as that so I think these shortcuts will come handy when you when you are working working and it will it will improve your workflow you can do the same thing using using another trick and that's that's that is like going to the toolbar and selecting or clicking the hand tool and you should note that the panel is selected see can you see that the blue color along the edges that means this panel is selected and then double click on the hand tool that will also does the same thing it's easy right okay cool now I'm importing two files using right click import file see I am 
importing few sound effects sound effects file see this see right now I have to import another file then it will be pretty difficult right like going down and then right click so yes I can go for shortcuts but the thing is I can resize the panel but the thing is it's it's going to be going to be impossible if I have imported lots and lots of files in the project panel and there should be some other way right the trick is using the tilde key and for those of you who don't know where is tilde key it lies below the escape key and if I press the tilde key see what happens it resizes or increases the size of project panel to the entire entire full screen so if I press tilde key again it regains its, orig its original size see this functionality is applicable to each and every panel here if I go to the preview panel press tilde key yeah easy if I go to timeline it works character yeah it works simple right that is the cool trick so let me introduce another few tricks yeah. that is see suppose I want to make it red reddish the trick is I want to know the channel information red green blue information right see the print is CMYK and the web is RGB red green blue so if I want to see the red channel colorized red channel that is the shortcut is by pressing shift alt key in windows or option key in mac and one that is red two is green three is blue you may have noted the blue line over it so the line indicates the corresponding channel that is showing if i want to see this thing in grayscale then i have to press alt in windows option key in mac and see so error channel in grayscale green channel in grayscale blue channel in grayscale if i want to reset to the original composition view i have to press shift alt or option key plus 4 this is alpha i have to press it again that's it the line is gone now so the disappearance of lines is an indication of resetting so that's another trick okay cool now let's create some text okay create a new composition control n or command n in mac so with 1920 high 10 5 second duration okay then dragging it here okay but it's bit lengthy right what if I could do it in one single step so the trick is click and drag this file over this icon can you see that it creates a new composition with that thing so simple right yes so let's create some text like this horizontal type the text so double click on it to select the whole text let me play with the tracking tracking refers to spacing between letters in a word so if I go there and drag it sideways you can see it's increasing increasing or decreasing the tracking I can do it easily using a shortcut alt or option key and right arrow key to increase the tracking left arrow key to decrease the tracking 
cool right i can even center the text by going to align click this click this and right now it's centered you can go to title or action save and now you can see it's centered there is even another trick that is by going to the toolbar and double click on horizontal type tool type it's in the center cool that's another trick okay now if you go to the original composition and let me animate it position by pressing the P key let's go home let me keyframe it it's gone now you can see that right let me create a compass click on by pressing shift ctrl c or shift command c in mac and this is one composition see position key and let me go here and make another key over there oh something went wrong okay go to home and then if I play only with the y coordinate it will go can you see that it's going up okay and if I press F9 in F9 or going to right click keyframe assistant PC is okay cool so let me recompose it so right now I have lots I mean two pre-composed layers here see if I have to select this one uh, select all the pre-compose I mean if I have to select the pre-compose then I will have to go here or go down there must be some shortcut right the shortcut is by pressing tab on pressing tab a flowchart like structure appears so these are the two pre-compose layers if I go to pre-compose see now I can play with, play with it okay the basic structure can you see that pressing P C keyframes in place so that's it that's the trick that's all for today I hope you guys learned few tricks today finally I request you to subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you thanks a lot for watching my video and we will see you next time keep coming to my channel again bye